tonight, we're hearing from a relative of the man stabbed to death at a Federal Hill lounge earlier this month. This after authorities caught the suspect, Joel Francisco, yesterday in Texas after weeks on the run. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now with what his arrest means for the victim's family. Brittany? Kim Joel Francisco was found more than two weeks after in a motel in Texas. Now the victim's nephew tells me he is relieved. Jay Chattel says it was a sleepless 17 days waiting for authorities to find the man who allegedly murdered his uncle. Joel Francisco was found and arrested in Texas Saturday. Providence police say he stabbed 46-year-old Troy Pine outside of Narahuka Lounge on October 2nd. Relieved, but only because of certain reasons, just like, you know, people can sleep, I can sleep better knowing that he ain't gonna run into one of my family members or something on the streets of Rhode Island. You know, Rhode Island's a small state. The Rhode Island U.S. Attorney's Office says Francisco was arrested without incident at a motel in Texas. Chattel tells me he lost one of the closest people in his life. It was my my brother, my uncle, and my my, my dad and my best friend. He was, you know, I could I could tell him everything and any, I have told him everything and anything. He's a vital part of the family, you know. Very influential in my life. Federal, state, and local officials worked together to make the arrest. Chattel says he spoke with police down in Texas. I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say thank you, you know, for doing your job. And Providence Police tells Eyewitness News local and state officials are working to get Joel Francisco back to Rhode Island. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.